Okay, welcome everyone to the April 26th iteration of the MicroProfile live hangout. Um, a link to the meeting minutes is in the chat. Uh, maybe not yet. I think I have it here. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, please click on the link and add your name as a meeting attendee. Um, it is everyone's shared responsibility to take notes and um, this meeting is being recorded along with the chat, which will be uploaded uh, shortly. So um, thanks everyone for joining. And uh, let's see here, um, yearly program plan progress. I think I'm gonna kind of do a, a, a big review this week and I'll, I'll have something for um, the next call. John, kind you're of not just sharing the a... screen. Sorry, sorry oh, about Oh yeah. Can you share, share a screen, screen please? Do, 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 do. Okay, I think that's the right one. There we go. All righty, let me minimize that one. Okay, so I'll, I'll see, for, for the next call, I'll kind of give a status update where we are. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the releases. So um, Edwin's not on, um, Emerson or um, Emily? So yes. Emily? Yeah, so we discussed that it's um, like uh, June, July release um, uh, for a long time in the last technical call. So there's a kind of, there's a one suggestion like, uh, we could uh, do a uh, 5.01 release. Uh, so it's uh, basically a package both um, uh, put the micro telemetries back in the platform release. Uh, however, like uh, have uh, uh, by default, uh, open tracing is enabled. However, it's kind of basically is a uh, deprecated open tracing and uh, open telemetry, uh, like micro telemetries. Um, uh, disabled by default. So people have to, if they want to uh, opt in for telemetry, they have to switch off uh, open tracing and then switch on uh, telemetry. Uh, and so we kind of, um, I think is uh, on the service, it looks uh, okay, but uh, we have to uh, iron out all the corners. And then it's uh, kind of one potential issue is the uh, APIs will be available to the customers. However, like uh, probably that will cause a lot of confusions. Like uh, in the build time, they can compile uh, against uh, micro profile telemetry APIs, but without uh, switching it on manually or via config. So their app will not uh, be able to function. Uh, I mean, during runtime. So I think it's kind of, these kind of things, or oh, we could uh, either uh, go bold. We say, okay, 6.0, we are going to be, uh, I mean, because the micro profile is trying to break uh, the, uh, the ground. We say, okay, let's just uh, remove the open tracing and put in the telemetry directly without um, going slowly via the migration, like, uh, okay, uh, get this disabled, that one enabled, and then remove it. Um, so I think there's a kind of, we should uh, continue the conversation. After this call, I will try to probably have the offline conversation to see what people think, and then continue the discussion next week in the technical call. Uh, like uh, last week, because of, um, when that was brought up, is on the, I think is a kind of, looks okay, but um, I think uh, if we put, uh, I mean, think it further, do we want to go through that ro road or we just saying, okay, let's, let's just uh, like, uh, this is just like a, a, do a fast uh, breaking change. Maybe they can also do the six or release. And then maybe we kind of think, uh, saying, okay, in one year, if we do 6.0, maybe it's the kind of the alignment we can do the 7.0 uh, early next year in the February release. 
So this is another another option. Oh, I I don't know how much of that conversation we want to have here. Um, <laughs> I, I well, just because it's 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 a long involved conversation. Um, yeah. It's a valid conversation. I don't mean to imply um, yeah. otherwise. So um, we could probably take out. I'm, I'm I'm scrolling through here a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what, if, if if we have time at the end, let's spend yeah. some time dis, uh, di, discussing this in a little bit more more detail. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then if not, so we do an offline discussion by a million list. Or maybe both, because we only have 10 people here, so maybe yeah. it's thin for... Yeah, so basically, uh, David, um, we're trying to just uh, like uh, think it further to iron out um, all the different corners. And then I think I uh, have more people weigh in. I think it was well to have a minimalist uh, conversation so that people can weigh in for the ones who have not joined the call. Okay, um, I'm gonna move on down to the next section, specification process. Uh, yes, uh, like uh, lately we did uh, the GraphQL already. Uh, I think uh, uh, that uses a new TCK process and then it's brought up a few, a couple of con confusions. And then I did uh, do a very small, uh, like a uh, uh, clarification in the TCK, not major thing, just the thing, okay, major release and et cetera. And also uh, bear in mind in the future, like uh, for the CCRs should have the, um, like uh, the uh, SHA included. Uh, I think it's kind of mentioned in the process when I checked it. Uh, but I think it's kind of just need to uh, bear in mind in, in, a, in, in the future, we, we should uh, like um, uh, more careful with the, the, all the TTK, all the CCR and et cetera. I think uh, so far it looks, uh, looks okay. Okay. Uh, technical, well, um, any other comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, technical goals. Uh, maybe Roberto, do you want to give a shot since Emily's been? Hello, uh, I mean, covering these. Uh, I'm not sure if we have anything out, out of the ordinary here because a lot, a lot of the focus on the last technical calls was about the open telemetry tracing stuff, right? Um, I guess that uh, one thing that we discussed as well was regarding the the, the Java version, uh, which is still unclear which version should we go and move forward. So that's something that we need to settle as well and maybe align with what Jakarta will be doing. Um, but that's something that um, we need to figure out. Um, other, other than that, I believe that we haven't got any, um, uh, well, any move. So GraphQL on, on the topics that are over there. So on the GraphQL side, yes, we did move. So that there was a release being done, uh, last week. Uh, so that that's done. Um, reactive messaging. The release is already done. I believe there is also some TCK issues uh, reported by Oracle that are being fixed. So yes, another release will be uh, needs to, to go out. So, but that's probably only like a service release. So does, doesn't require to go for a ballot. Um, uh, Roberto, uh, is not quite true. Uh, the React messaging hasn't done any Jakarta uh, namespace change alignment as yet so it's uh so the no there the, there the, there um, is uh there is uh uh oh maybe it's only an rc uh but yeah. I, what i'm saying i'm not i'm not what i'm saying the work is done i need I, I didn't say that there was a release done what i'm saying is there is a release for the tck 
Um, I'm not sure why we haven't got the release for 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 reactive messaging, uh, the the final one. Uh, but that yeah. can be done at any time. Is it because uh, there are no uh, compatible implementation? So at the moment, uh, Daniel from Oracle is working to get uh, all the TCK to pass so that he can create a CCR for that. Without CCR, we can't really release uh, reactive messaging. Um, to that, 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 that's fine. I have a working version of, uh, of small y. Right. If you if uh, like a small right reactive message is uh, uh, can do the CCR, I think uh, probably that will speed up the process. Because the last time I checked with um, uh, uh, Clement, I think uh, he hasn't got uh, yeah the the, the 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 time to do the CCR. If you think uh, that can be done, I think uh, that will be, uh, we can get a reactive messaging and also reactive um, stream operators um, out for Bala. I'll have a look. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, and yeah, so the telemetry stuff that was, was already discussed on a technical call and is part of the issues with the what's going to happen with the next uh, releases. Uh, the metrics, um, I mean, the, there was a decision to create a new API um, that's being worked on, I believe, um, but not, but we don't have much visibility on that yet. Um, and other than that, I don't remember anything uh, that, that has too much focus on right now. So most most of the stuff is just looking into open telemetry tracing and the releases uh, for the next couple of months. My hope is that for um, during the next technical call, we can nail down um, telemetry and the minimum Java version. Because I think these are the things that we've been talking about for a while and we're kind of nearing the June, July timeframe. Um, so I kind of think we need to nail down that discussion if we can, maybe on the next technical call. Uh, for mm -hmm. the sure. minimum, for the Java version, uh, we talked about it. Uh, and uh, I think uh, last time we sort of reached consensus. Um, I mean, documented on, this, on the technical minutes is that uh, we uh, raise the Java EE to the Java EE, uh, not Java EE, Java 11, when we align with the Decada EE 10, I think uh, that's kind of, uh, yeah, I think it's a consensus. So we can, we can just uh, socialize that again next week. Uh, basically, it's a kind of the properly announced it in the mailing list uh, so that everybody on the same page. At the end, uh, I uh, added a link in the minutes of the technical call to the JEP uh, regarding um, the release of property usage and the problems when not using it um, and uh, defining separate uh, source and target versions. So that might be a good preparation for that discussion. We had no time to discuss it uh, in detail, but I added the link uh, at the end of the meeting. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Ian. Yeah. I'm talking to mute. Um, let's move on then to community outreach. So it sounds like uh, a lot of folks had some face-to-face -face time at DevNexus. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great. I think it's uh, over 1,000 attendees. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice to see people. <laughs> so what was, uh, any thoughts or comments about micro profile at DevNexus in terms of the content, the feedback, et cetera? 
so I think is uh, kind of the, my experience is uh, is uh, yeah is about same as before. Uh, I did uh, have a book signing uh, on micro profile um, that book. I got um, around one hundred fifty within that. Uh, uh, I mean, second day, a couple hours. So that clearly shows people are still interested in the cloud native um, application development. So uh, which is uh, which is great, and uh, also yeah, I have a um, session on my profile towards the end of the day. Still have people showing up, so so that's good. There were over a thousand attendees, right? Is that what I heard? Yeah, over over a thousand. I don't know how many in detail. Maybe some are know. Many. I don't remember what the final number was, but I think Pratik said that there were around 1,200 people. Um, we were expecting about half of our 2020 attendance, and that was 2,200 people, and we got a little bit more than that. So um, we, we did well as far as attendees go. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Did the Eclipse Foundation have a booth? Yes, Eclipse Foundation has a booth. Um, and also, uh, yeah, IBM has a, a reception on the, uh, I mean, before the conference. So it's uh, basically the kind of Decatur E micro profile. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that was quite a popular the, the, the reception. Okay, cool. Any other comments before we move on? Okie dokie. Um, 21, 2021 swag have been printed. Um, who wants to take uh, this one? Well, last week uh, we were um, informed by the Eclipse Foundation team that the t-shirts have been finally, they were finally printed, which is great. So now we just need to um, decide which jugs, in addition to the ones that are members of the working group, will, will receive the t-shirts. We, when we worked on the budget, we created a spreadsheet that is here. And I'm, I don't want to show it because it's not necessary, but the plan is going to be to see if we still have the 19 jacks that we wanted, or do we cut it by half and increase the number of t-shirts? The original plan was to do 20 t-shirts per jug, but maybe, um, you know, we need to discuss again because when we order, or requested the order to be done was November 24th. Lots has come to pass and it's time to reevaluate um, the distribution. So we will be working on that uh, next month. The deluxe, the vendor is absolutely happy to hold the t-shirts as long as needed. There is no rush on that matter. And I believe we will need to use, as we discussed back in November, the budget for 2022 to ship those t-shirts. So that is to be worked on the logistics of uh, the project, the task at hand. And it should be done within the next two weeks. When, when were those shirts finished? Last week. So like during DevNexus? No, after DevNexus is, uh, was two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, it's too bad we couldn't have gotten that all worked out. Correct. Right before Correct. DevNexus. Mm -hmm. We could have shipped uh, like 50 t-shirts to DevNexus, but it was is not there, possible. Is there another conference that, do we want, now that conferences are happening again, do we want to set aside some of these for, 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 for uh, to be handed out at conferences? Correct. That's the plan. Uh, aside from- I, I only heard Jugs mentioned, so I just want- No, to sorry about that. I'm being general. The distribution for the two, 2018, we said it would be Jugs. But as the year we are in 2022, we could, and we have always said that we will bring four speakers that are speaking on micro profile, they should have at least 10 t-shirts per session as we have done in the past. In the past, it has been a private um, support by a few members who know who is speaking on micro profile and we provide the, the swag for those speakers, stickers and things like that. We need to purchase the stickers and the next, the next event is your focus. No, it's, yeah, your focus. So we are not sure if we have time to ship those. They will never get there on time. So the next one, I think Ian is involved in the cloud dev. I don't know how many uh, like uh, 
a cloud land, no cloud there. So is that a, is that a kind of suitable conference to take it's a new event? Yeah. I think so, because we are organizing uh, Jakarta One live stream uh, on the second day, um, which is also the uh, uh, microservice and domain-driven design day. And uh, we will have on that day, especially uh, uh, one stream that is focusing on Jakarta and microprofile. So, so yeah, that is a new event, you guys. Um, our our um, your organization is is pulling forward, which is amazing. You already mentioned it two weeks ago, and I thought that was fantastic. So keep us posted because we will have time to cover, but it will depend of the speakers. We definitely want the speakers that are providing the sessions, if it's on site, I imagine, um, to to have the t-shirts to provide into be in charge of the t-shirts. Right, that would be the way to go to protect the speakers. So yeah, um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is um, the speakers. Maybe will have the live stream uh, T-shirt. Hopefully, if there are some available, I I don't know um, uh, that uh, uh, checked with the Eclipse Foundation. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, having t-shirts uh, to distribute to the people who attending in person mm -hmm. uh, or on site uh, during the live stream, that would be really nice. Yes. Um, yeah, so yeah, you'd already told us two weeks ago. So keep us posted um, with dates and things like that. And then let us know about the, you know, the, the micro profilers that are going to be attending because we can, you know, we will make sure that's a, this is why the swag exists to cover the community, yeah. and those ones behind it. So let's do this and it's, it's going to be super fun. I think we can move on to the next topic because it's related to to this, to to, to SWAG and co community support. Yeah, I think we just a brief, brief jump. I think we should, you know, make sure we have shirts reserved for people who are speaking. You know, maybe we can just ship speakers a box and they can take them with them to the conferences and hand them out during their talk. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, by the way, I will be in the, at the cloud, uh, cloud land. So I yeah, think we have already idea. one speaker defined. That's Emily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to find out some T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be it could be the kind of thing where you know anybody who's doing a micro profile talk, we can ship them. Yeah, we can ship them a, a, a box of a, you know a handful of shirts to to give out during their talk, and obviously one for themselves. Yeah, so so in the past for many years since Marco Profile was created, we have shipped globally T-shirts, thousands of them to speakers uh, from Africa to Latin America, you name it, except Antarctica, <laughs> that is missing. But every speaker usually has been protected including IBM or Red Hat speakers. Sometimes, you know, the company might not be able to, to, to print. And if we were there, it's like, here, have 60 shirts. The average has been 60 shirts, but clearly we can talk about this, maybe increase it to 10. Well, now that- How many that, shirts do we have? Uh, we have 380, only for 2018. And we can already start the planning for 2018. Why do you keep saying 2018? I'm very confused. We didn't even have- Oh, no, 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 sorry. 380 t-shirts. That's all we were able to get with our budget is 380 shirts? Yes. Okay. $5,000. So this is super fun. And if we go back to John, I will go into the budget. Do we have a final budget that moved everything from content and whatever to, to community support SWAG? John? Yeah, I talked to Sharon about this. You can see my comment there where she says, we don't need an adjusted budget. Um, we can just shift the funds. So basically we could overspend on swag and underspend on advertising and that's fine. Okay, that's great. Um, is that okay to have it in writing? Because we can say something today and then- well, we that is in writing, it. right? Yeah, I mean, she sent it via, I mean, this, it was just via a, a, a quick Slack back and forth. Oh, okay. Okay. I can ask her to, I, I, I can ask her to post it to the working group. Can can that be how can that can that be possible? Because now yeah, we can update that. the the budget will be up, uploaded into the website. Uh, we have been waiting for this, and um, if it's not going to be adjusted, we can do that task as well. 
Okay. Thanks, John, for tackling that. Okay. Um, I'm going to move down to marketing. Uh, yeah, I was soccer dad yesterday. Sorry, I missed yesterday's call. <laughs> so, um, someone want to cover marketing yesterday? Um, Emily, you go here because you're talking. We we're working with you're working with Ryan closely. Do you want to give a quick summary on the <laughs> compatible page? Yeah. So Ryan and I met uh, like uh, yeah uh, three weeks ago. We worked together to draw the kind of the draft out of the compatible implementation. The web 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 page basically we layered it out and what a compatible implementation would be like. I have a from have a one page basically list the like the release. We'll go with four dot one five dot zero first because they are identical. And then we just, uh, then when you click that uh, 4.1 and then go down to details regarding like uh, which runtime has the compatible implementation. So Ryan will work out, um, Ryan showed us uh, uh, like uh, the, the, the draft for the initial design is uh, we give him some feedback yesterday. He will continue with that uh, further his design and then once he's ready, he will share uh, yeah, in the marketing call. Uh, and then once we get a 5.0, uh, 4.1 out, so basically we will use um, uh, Open Liberty as a kind of the, the, as a, as a, uh, like a example and then to display what it will be look like. So people have some feel, see and feel, and then like we will get some feedback for earlier versions, so that's different because that's before the working group was set up. So we will, um, uh, I mean, work together to find out uh, how can we uh, accommodate all the supporters, micro profile, um, like release supporters, uh, like, uh, and then get their logos displayed. However, we need to make sure do not violate IP because this is before working group was set up is no, compatible implementation process in place. So we will work on that uh, probably after the 401.5.0 is out. Mm -hmm. so that's, a, that's a quick summary. So basically, Ryan or I will get together again and uh, further his second design. And then we'll, we will take it to marketing call next time and uh, get more feedback. So, and Emily, I, let me allow me to interject. We did spend 45 minutes on the skeleton. The outline content was here and we simplified a bunch of the information. So if you're interested in providing your feedback, go into the document, the document is public edit. Anyone can comment, you can suggest. We have simplified it yesterday a lot. And Ryan did work on some, some things to show and tell that allowed us to have a successful conversation on this. The point is to simplify and use the feedback that we have received from the past and make things easier to navigate while highlighting the implementations. So I think it should be super fun. And Emily, uh, you allowing Open Liberty to be the test um, implementation, I think is great. So um, continue to rock it with Ryan. Yeah, thank you. By the way, this feedback is directly from someone who are micro profile customers. They, they really mm -hmm. kind of want to great. see what, uh, yeah, so this is great. great. Oh, there is a topic here on marketing and I'm, I think we spent a little too much time, but um, Ryan has been brought, brought this up last year and it's ticket 637. Um, John, can you please open ticket 637? Ryan is on uh, no vacation, but traveling, so cannot join this call. So this was December 15th. Usually every year, every quarter we do a cleanup and the website, um, he wonders in the main page if we still need to keep the original, you know, all these logos. Uh, there you can see. I mean, I think it would be great to keep them. Maybe we just invite them as guest members, which doesn't have any voting capabilities. It's just... I guess member needs to be a member of the, uh, have a membership with Eclipse Foundation um, and pay for it or not pay for it, depending on, you know, the relationship with the Eclipse Foundation. So we can translate this to guests. 
because yeah, this is few members, very. This is very old. You know, it's you know, as I say, this is a very interesting um, uh, issue, I guess, um, GitHub yes. issue because, I mean, some of these are founding members that are no longer um, working group members. Correct. Right, and um, you know, would love to be able to give a hat tip to the founding members, but you yeah. know, at the same time, it's it's getting to the point. Well, I don't want to get to the point. You know, there's there's value in membership. Right. And and part of that value is maybe be, having your, your logos on the page. Mm -hmm. That is exactly the reason why, uh, John, when he reminded us again to, a month ago on this, I went in there and if you go below the tickets, I did say, I have been thinking about this. Can you go below the tickets? I wrote it, um, if my feedback there. Um, I said, um, we, we should remove just because you know, of, of membership. It gets confusing with working groups or not. Implementation compatibility page is going to be awesome because you don't have to be a member to be an implementer. And I think it covers mm -hmm. enough. Some of the people in the list, the listed agents here or companies here or organizations here are implementers. So they can be re-added if they become compatible after, after 4.1. Um, to the to, to the to the page, no issue. So I think it's a nice way to to start the cleanup from my side, and it's very very personal. As far as I remember, um, there could be implementers uh, on an implementers list of a specification, um, but uh, that does not include uh, adding the logo. It's just yeah, version XY of company XY. Uh, um, is uh, a proven implementation um, of that, but it, that, that does not include a logo. Can you say um, logo, can you be specific? Because there was topic, there was a conversation about having a compatible logo, which we don't have. So are you referring to having the, their logo on the website? Um, regarding these logos, yeah, that might end up in a, a yeah, FIQ um, entry regarding the founding members. Um, but um, I'm not sure if we could valid, uh, in a valid way, uh, use the logos, but the organizations could be listed there and linked there, for example. Um, that just, might be a good I'm still idea. still not clear when you say and, logo, if you're referring to the micro profile logo or their company logo. Their company logo. The company logo, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so when we talk- regarding the discussion, um, to add that, um, yeah, we cannot declare them as guest members because guest members is a um, valid membership type of uh, the TIPS Foundation. Yeah, co correct. That is a flat no. We cannot do that. They declare so we could invite them, you know what I mean? Right. They, would ha they would have to- A few members in here have said that they will not become a member of the TIPS Foundation under any circumstance. That's so they will not be- not Anyway, mm -hmm. I just I just offered that as a as a nice way to say thank you to the people who helped create this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my recommendation is be aware we should leave this topic. <laughs> you know, I copy paste the minutes from last from two weeks ago to have the conversation. Um, so I think we should think about this. Um, uh, I believe that while we work on the compatible uh, page. Um, I think it's, we're very lucky that we don't have a trademark um, limitation on that and that we can use the implementers uh, logos to push their technologies and their products. However, uh, oh. this is confusing. So Ryan continues to say, to tell us, um, we are updating the uh, uh, Q&A in the website as well. And it's going to be updated. And while we do that, this came up. So there is a wiki with new Q&A and this came up. So he will continue to remind us. So just keep an eye on it, think about it. Uh, remember the tickets, we will copy paste it in the future calls and you know, it will get tackled <laughs> regardless. We cannot forget it. Yeah, yeah. there we, oh, sorry, go ahead and pull. I was just gonna say there is some element of requirement to have permission to use logos, right? Um, so something to keep in mind with regards to using logos on the website, was their permission granted to do so? 
Yeah, we, we asked for that. Um, we have we had the permission at the beginning. The lawyers didn't make sure that we had all of it done before the li the microprofile uh, website went to live back when. So all right. Well, that you know, I, who knows whether or not that actually transcended from a micro profile as an as you know as a as a website, not an entity, to micro profile as a working group as part of the Eclipse Foundation. So something something to keep in mind as you're looking at usage of logos on websites is to uh, see that there's a, a track back to permission to use the logo that is consistent with how it's used today and micro profile now as a working group. Yeah. So, so is it safe to say that members of micro profile um, have already granted the right to use the logo? Yeah, I think that's fine. And there's, there's an adopters program that uh, other working groups have got where, you know, you simply open a GitHub issue and, uh, um, a member or a, a representative of the organization attaches their logo. That's what we and, do. And, um, and then responds to the issue and then or, or, you know, opens the issue with the logo attached and boom, that logo goes up on the adopters page as, uh, as an adopter of a particular technology. So it can be pretty clean and straightforward. I'll, and I'll, I'll, find, I'll show you how the IoT guys did it. Sounds good. Anyway, it's a bit of a sidebar. So, so uh, something to keep in mind. Really good sidebar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in my profile, the members need to submit their kit issue with the logo, drop it in the folder and make sure that the logo is updated. Usually the reviewer, the latest reviewer was uh, Red Hat, they adjusted the logo to make it stronger. So it's, it's just kind of cool, but we don't have it automatic because it, it only goes onto the uh, micro profile working group page, which is uses WordPress and it needs someone to do that. So usually um, we do that manually, which is okay. But uh, Paul, is it possible uh, you add that to the minutes so we can look at it? And thank you. Yeah, there's a link there where it says create an issue to add your logo. I'll just add it here. Let's see, yeah. pulling it in. They, right, how to be listed as an adopter. Yeah, just see, see where it says create an issue. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. And it just gives you a nice little trail of permission. Okay. Oh. So I'm not logged in, in this. I'm not logged in, <laughs> in this browser. Can't help you with that. Other browser. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay. So we'll have to take a look at that. That sounds like it's a reasonable approach. And I think if we have something uh, about micro profile uh, section on the website um, where the history could be documented uh, um, and when there's logo permission uh, of all these logos available, um, then that list could be include links and the logo um, of the founding uh, organizations. Yeah, I, I noticed that there wasn't actually even a Wikipedia page for micro profile. We should probably should create that. Did you sound really quiet, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, I noticed that whether we didn't, I looked the other while ago, we don't actually ha have a Wikipedia page even. Uh, oh, so there's yeah. Nothing, there's nothing about the history of it being created. And that is why we have a wiki and QA on how, to, uh, how micro profile was created. So the document exists in, in work form and it's awaiting feedback. I could resend it again. Um, uh, I know that a few of you have volunteered to review it, uh, but we, we definitely need to be fit um, because we don't have anything like it. Q&A seems to me one of the best ways to add some of that information on the website. So, um, but you know, if someone wants to create a wiki and volunteer to do so, 
so be it. Some of us were there from the beginning. So, but you know, I, I just do not know. I can uh, on that work. I think uh, David, I mean, we do have a wiki. I think what David means, the Wikipedia. I think uh, that's worth well to have it. Uh, if I remember correctly, did someone say that they create a draft or something like that for Wikipedia? Yeah, we did it. That was uh, Payara led the effort um, back when, and we did publish it. But I have to tell you, I haven't seen it in years. It thinks that out of sight, out of mind. But we did work on a wiki, but it's not, you know, it has not been updated since 2016. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's a quite good thing if we could have a Wikipedia page created for micro profile. I think maybe it can add that to the marketing meeting. Uh, yeah, and then to move that forward. Okay, any other comments? I would agree on that. Uh, when you look for micro profile on Wikipedia, you find a lot of implementations referencing uh, micro profile, but there is no article on micro profile itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we worked on it and it got published, but never touched. So after a while of this, of the certain, what I said, not certain, not. It didn't get published. I mean, published would mean it'd be on Wikipedia. Ah, uh, yeah. So then maybe yeah. it didn't get published. So, so Amelia, can can you create a Git issue and then attach a link to that uh, draft and then um, and share that on the on the? I link. will have to see because the the ones that hold the document were Payara team with Debbie. Um, so I will need to see uh, because sometimes when we contribute, um, especially at the beginning, everyone will use their own drives. And even though some of us try really hard to, to say, hey, please copy paste here and this public, you know, I am like extremely, extremely focused on doing it right. If I am going to participate and uh, con contribute in something, if the document is not in the drive, don't waste my time. That's how I, I stated in a ticket, I don't care. If I'm going to contribute, it needs to be public and it needs to be in the drive, don't waste my time. So then at that time we were very flexible. The document is not in the drive. John, you can laugh all you want, but you know, like it's not in the drive. So Emily, I don't think I can. Oh do it. no, I'm not laughing at you. I'm I'm laughing with you. Uh, it's <laughs> it's well, yeah. you know, I've I, I actually tried to go a step further and make them owned by micro profile the user, which maybe like a step super too far. Hardcore. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you're super mm -hmm. hardcore. So Emily, I don't think I will be able to revive that document because it has been six years. However, um. A lot of us, a lot of work was put onto that, is wasted. What I believe is that we should restart. And we have the Q&A that is a wiki that can be used. Uh, it, it can be converted, not only to the Wikipedia, but also to Q&A. We can choose the documentation and it, that document exists. So I can forward it again to marketing. It has been forward two weeks ago. Um, so it should be fun. Yeah, the other option is, uh, do you know, is we work together you, me, and John, right? Uh, micro profile five year uh, kind of the, that doc. So we could uh, repurpose that a I lot of, because that doc has a lot of history about micro profile. Okay. A lot of history and it misses heart. Remember yeah. that I'm one of the reviewers and writers. Yeah, Wikipedia and pages are not supposed to have heart. They're just supposed to be factual. So yes, like yeah. just that, uh, yeah, factual stuff. So mm -hmm. that, that's good. Let's let's move that forward. Let's uh, discuss more on the marketing call. I, I put it. Yeah. I, I created a um, just an empty issue, uh, so we have a number at least, and so maybe we can put that in the meeting minutes and. Uh... With yourself, come on. Do you see this? You want John to do it? Is that, this okay. is unfair. Anyway, I was just trying. Yes, I'm yeah. drawing attention Brilliant. to the fact Thank that you. I created an issue for it. Yeah, thanks, David. I will I will find that doc um uh, and then add a link uh, to your issue, and then we use that as a base, and then get ourselves into the Wikipedia. Yeah, I would put that under marketing. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that as soon as I started typing. Yeah, uh, with the infrastructure, uh, Summers left. He had another meeting. And Cesar um, also left. But Emily, you have been a part of those calls that happen every Friday. 
um, and Cesar gave us a really good summary yesterday, but Emily, do you want to own that update? Uh, yeah, I will try my best. Uh, so it's um, uh, Cesar, Summer, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, also Andrew, uh, uh, Andrew, if I got his name right from uh, Tommy Chua. So Let it's me, uh, we uh, met, sorry? Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Andre, yeah. So we met, uh, and then uh, we did a uh, we did a great, uh, uh, I mean, effective meeting. We did a fix the word of press CSS uh, issue. But right now, the the micro profile IO slash project is that they do render correctly now. So which is great. So we uh, like fix the like um, the urgent issue. So now as we move forward, so Cesar is trying to lead the kind of the, the next level of the improvement, which is um, concentrate on the contributors and projects. So it's, uh, however, we're not going to touch blogs uh, and because that's kind of WordPress, it seems working and easy for people to add blogs. Uh, Ryan, uh, I mean, stayed quite well. He's uh, kind of maintained that uh, WordPress and found that uh, kind of easy to use. Uh, so uh, Cesar will will take a look at um, contributors, basically the trying uh, to improve the EC2. Basically, the kind of the there's some uh, like uh, too many steps. So he wants uh, to uh, use the GitHub actions to uh, like uh, to gather the contributor information and also the projects uh, and uh, so that will uh, migrate and that will become uh, that we use the github pages uh, in the future so that each spec project can maintain that github pages so that's quite nicely i mean when you like uh, give out uh, uh, like uh, the, the spec information you can uh, give the url which also uh, a list as a Git, GitHub pages. So for enable in GitHub pages, I think uh, uh, we have to reach out to the Eclipse Foundation infrastructure to enable that um, uh, so that we can do the GitHub pages. Probably it's the kind of the uh, next step to do the contributors first and then uh, go to the projects page. Emily, and there is a document, a Git issue, and the working group um, gets, gets that. I think that we created last March um, 2021, which can be used for that request. Um, I think it was added yesterday on the minutes of the call, but in case you missed it, definitely let's not create a new Git issue. Use the past. No, hold on. I, there's, a, there's a separate process for requesting that GitHub Actions be enabled. That has nothing to do with our own. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the, exactly what I mean. Uh, oh yeah, we, we, yeah, they changed between Botsila to something else. I can't even keep track of the changes on infra. Apologies. There, there's, there's, an, there, there's a ticketing system for Eclipse Infra to do their own thing that they manage. Yeah, so basically it's, uh, what I mean, just a reason that ticket, so get them to uh, enable the GitHub pages. I think that's pretty much. Okay, so we've got eight minutes. Do we dare? <laughs> I think we'll go back. Should... No, <laughs> we can end it. Don't. I think we just yeah. wrap up early. Let's end it. Of, okay. Nine of us here yeah. now, so it, it probably can't be very inclusive anyway. Yeah. Okay. I'll agree. Say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all right everyone <laughs> yeah i will take a to take a to do basically it's, um send an email to the google group to uh, uh yeah to like um talk about the release so people can team uh, yeah jump in to share their views and then we discuss more next week sounds good all right thanks everyone uh i will see everyone on the technical call well Many of you on the technical call, um, same bad time, same bad channel next week, and this call again in two weeks. So thanks, everyone. Bye, thanks, everyone. Everybody. Yeah, bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.